Welcome. My name is Jason Huggins. In this screencast we're going to look at the Uniface debugger. We'll start with a quick overview of the debugger and then look at some of the features in a demonstration. We'll then discuss any other considerations. The debugger is the Uniface tool to help you find and fix errors in your proc code. It allows you to debug the interpreted code, whether that's in the Uniface runtime, the server-side use server processes, web applications, web services, or Uniface mobile. It supports both local and remote debugging. Beyond using the proc statement debug, the local debugger can be started by using the slash deb switch. If you're using the Uniface runtime, you also have to specify the startup shell. If you're doing this on the IDF, you can optionally specify a component you wish to test. If you wish to debug a local use server, you can use a slash deb switch on the UST definition for that use server. You can then connect to that use server with the slash deb switch on a debugger specifying the process ID of the use server you wish to connect to. For remote debugging, where the debugger is on a different machine to the process to be debugged, the slash deb switch is used with a TCP setting to create a TCP host and a TCP client. The create version of the switch is used on the TCP host to create the listener. Wait or no wait can be chosen on the client to connect to that listener. In normal circumstances, the process to be debugged will be the listener and the debugger will be the client. In other cases, you may choose to do this the other way round, with the debugger as a TCP host and the remote process as a TCP client. These options will be further discussed in a demonstration. The debugger has a number of features that can enhance your productivity while debugging. This includes filtering triggers, breaking on errors, the source browser and conditional breakpoints. These will be shown in a demonstration. I will now demonstrate the options for starting the local debugger. The first local debugging option is to use a debug statement in code. We can either pick a trigger or add the code to the button. You could also add the debug statement to things like your menus. When we compile and test, and I hit my button, the debugger starts. The second option is to launch the debugger from the command line using the slash deb switch. My component starts and the debugger starts at the same time. When I do an action, we can see the debugger picks it up. The third local debugging option is debugging local use servers. That's use servers running on the same machine under the same user account. If I start by modifying my UST to add the DEB switch, that tells the U server to make itself available for debugging. I'll open the task manager so that I can get the process ID. If I now start a web page that uses the use server, we see a use server has started with process ID 3828. I can now start my debugger and say slash deb equals that process ID.
the debugger connects and I can now debug that process. I will now demonstrate remote debugging. The remote configuration is used when you need to debug a process running on a remote machine. We will start by making our runtime process the TCP host. To do this I add the command line switch slash deb specifying the TCP connection parameters using a unique port number. The create keyword tells it to create the TCP listener. On my debugger, I use a similar configuration string. This time I specify the host name or IP address of the machine I'm connecting to. I specify the same port number. And then I specify weight or no weight. Now in the case of the debugger, the weight and no weight statements don't really have an impact. If I was using weight or no weight on the process to be debugged, then weight says wait for a debugger to connect, whereas no weight says allow processing to continue until a debugger connects. If I run my runtime application, because it's the TCP host, it's waiting for a debugger to connect. When I now run the debugger, my application starts and I can debug it.